Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. Mmm, I do love the smell of fusion core processing in the morning. Have our power plant running and our turrets going, and uh, we're all set up here. I just hit level 25. I retook this thing every time you go offline. You have to retake this thing. It's kind of a pain in the butt, not gonna lie. But, um, I did hold it for like an entire day, pretty much while I was just kind of AFK, doing other things. So we now have um, quite a lot of fusion cores. Yes, quite a lot indeed. More than I ever had in my Frost playthrough. So um, that shouldn't be an issue. I'm just going to keep a couple with me for now. As far as other ammo goes and stuff, uh, we have the 45 rounds, of course, and a lot of 308 rounds just keep getting more and more of those because um, our rifle just doesn't really go through them. Same thing for our 45. Um, just, we just don't really go through them that quickly, so that's cool. Um, let's see here. No, not a whole lot in the fusion cells yet, but that's not a big deal. Lots of missiles from farming those guys. Lots of shotgun shells, too. Uh, I want to take out a couple weapons here and see what I can do as far as modifying them. Here's... the laser rifle is kind of underwhelming at this point, honestly. Well, 23 damage is automatic versus 28 damage. <clears throat> yeah, I think, we I think we stick with the combat rifle for now. Um, I have a couple combat shotguns here that I can scrap, or at least one. A couple fire axes we can scrap. I'm just kind of going through here to get rid of some stuff. I have numerous uh, pipe auto pistols. I think I already have a pipe auto rifle, right? Automatic pipe rifle level 20? Yeah, so I'll uh, scrap the excess here. We can scrap this thing. We'll never use this again because we have higher level ones now. The double barrels can go. I only have one 10 mil submachine gun. It's not that good, honestly, but eh, whatever. I'll keep it around for now. Let's scrap that thing. All these older ones. I only have one Western Revolver. This is actually quite good. Um, I guess it's the same... Well, it's level 20 required, and it does the same damage as, um, this thing with the same ammo. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. I doubt I'll use the pump action anymore. Keep it around for old time's sake, I guess, but... I doubt I'll use it anymore. So here's my nice laser rifle. To scrap that thing too. That can also go. Graham! It's Graham! Do I have anything I can sell to Graham? I sort by value? Yeah, sort by value. And what, what can I sell to Graham? Um. I don't need these glass shards. Let's let's sell some glass shards to Graham. Maybe he'll buy a bunch of them. Uh, what else do I have as far as aid goes? Um, probably don't need that. Don't go, Graham. I want to sell things to you. I wish I could sell ammo to him. Eh, I'll just go with that for now. Wait, Graham. Graham is a vendor. He's a super mutant vendor who sells some pretty good stuff. Where'd you go? Probably went up the road somewhere. Maybe? Hello, Grafton Monster. Oh, I don't know where he went. Control in this thing is tough, man. Kind of shoots all over the place. I really have to actually, uh, you know, move my cursor to compensate for the recoil. It also fires extremely slow for an automatic weapon, but that's true for most of the weapons in 76, except for the, like, the big guns, which, ironically, is what we're going to be looking for today. I guess Graham went somewhere else. I know where he went. I heard him for a second. Yeah, he's a super mutant vendor. He's a, he's a friendly super mutant. He even has a, uh, 
a meat week dedicated to him. He's pretty. He's a pretty cool guy. All right, so we can get rid of that. Um, most of the stuff we can get rid of. Okay, and that's good. Um, I want to check the combat shock, and I have a lot. Come on, transfer. I've got a lot of uh, parts, and I have a lot of uh, what you call it. Uh, where did I put my last combat shotgun? Actually, it's in here somewhere. I'm pretty sure I might it a little bit, right? Yeah, here we go. It's a nice one I had. I have a lot of ammo for it, so thought maybe I'd take a look at that. Yeah, we have a hardened receiver, which is a lot more damage. That's really good. Go ahead and do that. And uh, all I have is a short barrel, which means very crappy accuracy. And, yeah, not much here. Not much range, either. It's going to be a super short range combat shotgun. Okay, well, it is what it is. Got to repair this thing. And this. Do I have anything else I can do with this? No, nothing. I just haven't gotten... I've gotten a couple of these, but I I don't know. I haven't gotten many mods for it yet, so... Okay, what's well, fine. Alright, well, next order of business. Thank you, Fusion Core. Uh, Fusion Generator, that is. I'll just keep them on me for now. Next order of business is uh, leveling up, and I have a perk pack. We'll go ahead and check it out. Ah, uh, Gunsmith, yes. Uh, well, Fireproof's actually kind of nice. Less damage from explosions and fire flame attacks. It's, it's actually a lot less damage that perk gives you. Uh, we can't go any higher in intelligence. Um, I've been pumping strength because that'll be one of my main stats, I think. I did have this all planned out, but I've forgotten uh, what I had planned for it. Serendipity would be really good, but it doesn't work in power armor. Well, I won't be below 30% health that much, though, so, eh. I do want luck eventually, but I don't need this stuff in that tree right now. Mostly I'm going to be needing um, stuff over here, although there's nothing here I really particularly need. Commando would be okay, too. Green Thumb is also fine. I hear talking. Maybe that's Graham over there. I don't know. Um, what I was really hoping for is the Chemist perk. But I'm not seeing it anywhere. Which, um, Chemist would be an intelligence, so I guess we'll just go with more strength and, um... Yeah, I'll we'll just go with more strength and I'll pick a random perk for now that I don't really need at the moment, I guess, because I don't know what else to get. I mean, green thumb is an option, I suppose. Sorry, I mean kind of quiet while I look at these, just trying to make my decision. Um, yeah, I think there's not really much I need here anymore. Until we level up a bit more. So... Yeah, none of these are really appealing. Well, Sneak is nice, actually. Hmm, do I want to start putting some into Sneak? I do want more agility ev eventually. I mean... You know, we're in power armor, so it's kind of silly. But at the same time... Yeah, why not? I mean, it's not like the strength really helps me because I'm in power armor all the time, so... Unless, um... Unless by chance, no, nothing new here. Let me just check these real quick. Every, see, every level new stuff unlocks, and so it's kind of annoying. You have to sort of check every level for new stuff. Yeah, right there, Aqua Boy unlocked. Okay, we don't care about that, obviously. I don't know if I'll run Sneak full time, but I feel like for it's a it's a really good perk for right now. More carry weight's nice too, but I won't run that full time either. Yeah, I feel like. Um, 
I feel like a sneak isn't okay. It's not one that I'll run in game, which is kind of it kind of sucks because I'll just end up scrapping it later. But I feel like that's okay. I feel like I'm alright with that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scrap this, equip that, and I need one more agility, and I can actually use the rank three through hiker, which will be nice. It'll give me more carry weight. Though I'm not carrying very much in terms of food and water. I'm like eating it all up really quickly, so. Not that big of a deal. I'll keep Iron Stomach for now, it's fine. Okay, um, and I'll... These are both fine to have on hand, I guess, for now. Okay, so, um... I have a Fusion Core, thank you. That's all taken care of. I think that's plenty of cores for now to be going on with. And I've got, um... My Combat Shotgun, I'll put that on... Let's do that on one... Can I not use this? I have no shells, that's why. That on two, the combat rifle, and the marksman hunting rough can see on three, that's fine. And I'll grab some shells out of here too, so we can have some fun with that combat shotgun. That should be good. I don't have a whole lot of food or water left over, I don't think. Pretty sure it's all, yeah, it's all gone now, unfortunately, so I'll have to find some food and water, but that's okay, we'll be able to. And let's get our power armor out here. I also want to put away this combat armor. I've gotten a lot of level 20-ish uh, combat armor stuff, so at some point I ought to be able to... Um, yeah, we got a chest, left leg, left arm, right arm, right leg. Everything but a helmet, and you don't get... It, the, actually, I do have a helmet, it just doesn't work. So I have a full set of combat armor now, but... As you can see, it doesn't do much for protection without being changed to be heavy combat armor and to have, uh, you know, a higher... higher stats because of mods on them. I do have these T45 pieces, though, which I think I will go ahead and swap out now because we're level 25. So, yeah, let's see here. It's just like 20 more DR all around the board. compare these real quickly, the arms anyway. So this is 34 versus 24, so 10 more on that, and the torso is 40 to 58. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good change out there. Alright. I'll keep this raider stuff just for sentimental sake, I guess, but uh, probably gonna scrap it eventually. Uh, unfortunately, some of this stuff is pretty beat up, and I still don't have a helmet. We're gonna hopefully try to remedy that today. We're gonna be looking at a couple of locations that we might find some more power armor in. Almost forgot bef before I got in here. I was supposed to craft some things. Um, we are supposed to craft a couple of... Stim packs diluted. I was gonna hold off on this, but I think I'll go ahead and do it now. Um, yeah, I think we'll just do all of them, to be honest, as diluted, because um, I've got that first aid perk, which gives me a lot more healing for stim pack. Nice angle you chose there, game. Nice angle. So now I have a lot of healing. It would be a lot better if I had the Chemist perk, because then I could, like, double them, and if I get the Super Duper perk later on, which is, like, level 30-ish, I think, uh, I'll get even more. Okay, um, so... I think what we'll do is head up to, um, our camp over here, which I've made reactive, and I'm going to venture into, um... Mama Dolce's, and get the card... I don't know if I got the card already or not, I can't remember, but I'll go in and get one anyway. Yeah, we're going south from here. Now, interesting thing about 76 is that enemies, um, they, uh... They progress with you in terms of levels, so... Oh, really? It Now it's gonna tell me to do this? <sighs> okay. This is the only problem, honestly. I can run, by the way. There's no reason not to. I can totally... I have 39 fusion cores. I think we'll be fine. 
I plan to keep that pretty much. What are you doing? Are you taking a picture? Oh, you're using binoculars. Got your binox on, do ya? Gotta keep a lookout for raiders. You know there's there's scorched all over the place here. Uh, we're going to Madolches, which is uh, like directly south here. I have the extra sneaky. Oh, hello. Should have loaded before I started shooting. Would have been better. That Scorched is, is uh, walking normally, surprisingly. Not really here to kill Scorched, but they're in my way, so... Only costs me a bullet for some easy XP, and we've got lots of bullets, so... May as well, I suppose. And up along there. Okay, I think that's it. I really like how they have removed... Well, they've given you the option to remove the Power Armor HUD um, in a just a very simple setting. I think that was uh, a great addition to the game to be able to not have your Power Armor HUD because I really didn't like it. I think that's what bugged a lot of people was that giant HUD with the gauges and everything. I get that it was thematic, but it was really kind of obnoxious and overdone and have to retake it now. Oh no, things have even though I had ten million turrets, it they uh they took out my power plant. It's fine, I'll go back there in a little bit and it'll be okay. I don't need to go over here, I need to go over here, I think. I can, sh I can check the power armor spawn over here, too. There's, uh... That workshop is all trapped up and stuff, you know? Has the mines and the punji boards and everything. I cannot believe I missed that. Okay, here's Mama Dolce's. Over here is the... Oops, wrong thing. Over here is this. No, not this one. Well, is there anything good in here? I don't have a, a light, that's right. I really need a... Um, a helmet. With light on it because I can't see a damn thing. Still a bit short on screws to be honest, so I'll take them where I can get them. Throw it down the road over here. Yeah, over here. I'm not even gonna bother with this with this fusion core spawn because I have so many now, I just don't care. It's not there anyway. 
Right, so I think we'll check over here. I don't think there's any power armor in here. I don't know how to... I don't know how to trip this besides... Is it over there? It must be over there. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try to shoot it from back here. Okay, there we go. Trap detonated. Sorry, I know this is really dark, but, um... Not too much I can do about it. But, uh, yeah, I don't think there's any power armor in here, unfortunately. So, that's a, a bust again. It's, it's weird. I found it that one time over here. Maybe it wasn't even a real spawn. Maybe somebody was just using it on the server I was on when I was playing back then, and they left it there. But I've never found one over here again. It was that first day, the first day I was playing uh, 76. When it first came out, I found one, and I've never seen one over there again. Oh well, it's not a big deal. Try out this uh, combat shoddy for the close quarters, since we've got that. Wish I had a bigger mag for it, but at least it shoots quickly. Yeah, very nice. Ow, okay. Do combat rifle for the close quarters in here. The ID card I'm looking for is up in uh, Mama Dolce's office over here. Well, that worked quite well. Yeah, here we go. ID card. Okay. Well, I don't know if I need it or not, but we have it, so that's good. And that's literally all I need inside of here. That did, did I get a hardened barrel on this? I don't think I upgraded anything on it, actually. No, we're just using the same thing. Did a lot of damage to those robots, though. Alright, so the... Well, I guess I was sneaking. That's probably why. So the um, entrance here is around the back, and I, I finally feel comfortable going in, I think. You know, we got the power armor with decent armor on it now. Well, some pieces are decent. And hopefully we get lucky and find some more. So yeah, over here. I always forget how to get in here. On the back side of this pipe. I thought this was really cool. That they add this in. Actually, I'm short on meat, so I'll take that. I don't think I have any meat, but I do have water we can use. Yeah, this was, this was a really cool addition. They added this to the game. Well, they didn't add it, but you know, I thought it was. I thought. I think this area is cool. That's what I'm trying to say, and failing miserably. Okay. This place is dangerous. There are turrets. Other ones now activated. Okay, just took one shot. That's okay. There are lots of goodies in here, but the thing we're after mostly is a possible power armor spawn. Though I'll take a look around and we'll just we'll see what we can find here. Probably a lot of medical medical uh, first aid things as well.
This is actually a one tap with uh, stealth. Pretty good. Remember, these things are kind of terrifying. They do a lot of damage. Even through power armor, they did a lot of damage, so I want to be careful and make sure I take them all out. The scrap will be useful later on, though. Once we start making ammo in bulk, we'll be able to make a lot of ammo. I'm not sure. These must be below me. Kind of dormant right now, these ones are. Apologize again if you hear the furnace in the background. Uh, or not the furnace, the, the AC. It is quite warm today. And uh, I don't feel like stopping my playthrough. Or suffering the heat, so you must deal with the sound. I am sorry. I think that extra stealth thing is really helping out quite a bit. I know, I know. Stealthy power armor, it shouldn't be a thing. I'm violating the laws of nature. Get out of there. I don't want to open that. I don't care that much. So we have what I would assume would be some important military targets here. Missile Silo Charlie, Missile Silo Alpha, and... Morgantown, food processing, or maybe these are Mr. Silo Bravo. Okay, so. So the green ones seem to be um, missile silos, right? That makes sense. Which we're looking for, those missile silos Bravo, Alpha, and Charlie. And the red ones appear to be maybe bases. So here's Mama Dolce's, or maybe targets, I'm not sure. Mama Dolce's is, is a yellow one. The rest of these are red. Maybe these are possible targets. I don't know. This is a Chinese base after all. I should have read the lore for you. I might do that still on the way out. Here's one of the things we can open up. Does not open with an ID card reader, even though it has one there. I'm not sure what ID card you need for that. Ooh, yes, government supply requisition. Nice. Apparently those can drop a Gatling laser. Though it's probably very, very rare, so... If I got a Gatling laser, then I would just have my ammo and, um, you know, a lot of my worries solved for a while, because they are pretty good in the early game. They're not the best weapon late game, but they're very, very ammo efficient. <coughs> that high intelligence making that super easy. Protectrons... Let's just shut them down. Shut down. Signal received. Okay. Unit returning to charge pod. Shutting. Shipment down. status. Unit offline. So you can see this is the Fuginia uh, intelligence base. 
Security station. Hail the People's Republic. This is a Chinese uh, spy base. To all personnel, you have been placed in an unbelievable, unenviable situation. As you all know, we were given no warning prior to this, the bombs touching down. We can only presume that this means one thing. The party leaders are all dead and we are now functioning independently. Some of you have suggested this means we can now abandon our notes, our posts, that the fight is over and we have lost. For those of you that feel this way, we pity your lack of belief in our purpose, but we will not attempt to stop you from fleeing. Instead, let us simply say this. We are far behind enemy lines. If our party leadership is really dead, any attempt to return home would be an utterly futile ex exercise. If they're not, and they do reach out to us, you will lo be long gone, trying to cross thousands of miles of hostile territory. Your best chance of survival is to remain here, where we can work together and be prepared, should the time come that we can evacuate properly. Okay. Open that door up, please. Thank you. Another submachine gun here. So the 10 mil submachine gun uh, might be... I don't know. It might just be random that I got it here, but it makes me think that maybe this is a uh, like a Chinese weapon. In Fallout lore, not really sure. Out. No core here, unfortunately. Waste disposal system. Uh, okay. What is that? Are we are we alone here now? Is that everybody? Ooh, dog food. Mmm, dog food. I'm sure it's fine to eat it, but like, it just seems really disgusting. Actually, I don't know. Maybe it, it's probably not. Like, I've been to like I have a a coworker that, whose husband works at a dog food plant, and it's it's a stinky place, man. It's disgusting. It's all leftover parts that they use for that stuff. It's not great. I definitely, whenever I reset my any file, um, I definitely think I change the up and down. The up and down uh, is like way more, it takes way more to make it work properly to, to go up and down when you're, you're using your mouse cursor. Um, it's really annoying. I'm gonna have to go in and adjust that again. Ooh, medical station. Do we have some stim packs laying around? Already have a chem workbench, but that's fine. I can I can sell plans for a good amount. Reminds me of Tarkov. There's a lot of these in Tarkov, and I'm always looking around them for meds. There we go, Stimpak. Very nice. Just take all the things. Just some dead bodies in here. Very nice as well. Okay, this is all well and good. This stuff is very low level. Over there is what I want to get into. That's where I might find some power armor. Okay, I think we're good now. They do a lot of damage, man. Even through the power armor, that was quite a bit. Could be hitting an unarmored spot, though. It's also entirely possible. So, yeah, I don't know if it's in there or not, but we'll check. Um, 
now there's no power armor in there. Sometimes we get a spawn back there. That's unlucky as hell. I'll still open it up, though. Um, it'll be nice to get some free loot. I really, really want a power armor helmet so I can see what the hell I'm doing. It's very annoying. I don't have a helmet. My intelligence is so high now, it's going to be super easy to get these. I mean, I just I mean, have to really try. I can just... If I get, if I get down to four, I can just, uh, you know... Just use them. Launch Bay Director Summary. Liberator Launch Bay. Okay, so this was a Liberator Launch Bay base. They were making the Liberators to send out to the general public and to kill civilians, I guess. Over the past year, the staffs of this facility have been dedicated to revamping the inferior Liberator prototype military infiltration and attack robot. The focus of this effort has been to address the following issues with the previous iteration. A small profile of this prototype model led to ro combatants not taking the deadly capacity of the attack robot seriously. We have offset this shortcoming with an intimidating paint job as well as implementing an inspirational dialogue protocol. This will strike fear in the hearts of enemy combatants and will be effective and be an effective motivational tool for our forces as well. The prototype model had issues with spontaneous detonation of its, of its capture avoidance systems. These issues have been resolved with the Marks 0 through 5 models. Prototypes also had questionable combat effectiveness, mainly due to the low level laser output that had a tendency to maim instead of kill. We have outfitted the current model range with a high powered range laser as well as a spinning blade for melee altercation, should that address. And that should address these shortcomings. Finally, we had planned for the current model range to deploy as a stationary turret on any surface as a direct response to reports of inaccurate laser fire from the prototype. This has proved to be challenging, however, and will be put on hold until we begin working on the Mark VI. Regardless, we strongly feel that this new, iter this new Liberator product line will now serve as a successful vanguard force in the impending invasion. Our hope is that this summary will provide Visibility into our operations and secure funding for our next round of covert fields testings in the Appalachia region. Hail the People's Republic. Okay. That was a lot. Oh, I got in here to actually open the door, right? Ironically, this is the first time I'm reading a lot of this stuff because when I played 76 the first time, I just kind of skipped through it as fast as I could. Oh no, we're stuck in here. Nah, we're fine. Okay, well that's all. That's pretty much all that's in here, I guess, guys. Unfortunate. No, uh, more power armor. Was hoping for more, but... What are you gonna do, you know? We'll get a full set at some point, and now that I can use T-45, I can check our locations and stuff that have T-45 and... Uh, maybe find some of that. Gonna make our way back upstairs. Go ahead and have that dog food, I suppose. Get ourselves healed up and uh, have some food at least. Yes, yes, yes. Let me move, game. Okay. Well, out we go. Uh, that's all I really wanted to do over here. I think I'll just fast roll back to camp, and we're going to head... Uh, there's actually a manhunt event going on over there, but I don't know if I want to participate or not. It'll be super mutants, and it's going to be a bit scary. There's also some possible... Oh, there's someone in here that's giving me combat. Whatever, I'll just wait for the timer to go away take me longer to find him and kill him than it would to just let myself fast travel here. But, um... Yeah, Manhunt is gonna be Super Mutants. I I don't know about that. That sounds a bit scary to me, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna dump stuff off of my camp here. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. 
I did get that vault thing as well. I guess I could do that instead, and I wouldn't have to worry about this so much. This is not a great place to put my camp, obviously. Still a low-level one. It's not very good. Um, same with this. It's just not very good. It's kind of low-level. Okay. Um, let's just dump stuff then. I'm gonna dump my excess plans as well that are already known into here. And, um, everything else I think we're probably good. We'll just keep that stuff on me. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, let's, um... I didn't really make any ammo from that, did I? Because the enemies don't really have ammo on them. Um, let's go up towards this area. There's Site Bravo, actually. I want to go over here. And then eventually up here as well. Uh, the reason being that up this way, we will find, hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, maybe we'll find a uh, machine gun, a 50 cal machine gun. And that would go a long way towards keeping me safe because, you know, the best defense is a good offense. Would go a long way towards uh, keeping me safe into the mid game. The manhunt, I don't think, gives very. I don't think it gives any rewards I really need. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm not sure if it's over here. It's outside of Clark, which. I don't know if Clark is here or over here. I think Clark is actually over here, but we'll check both on the way up. We'll just pretend that uh, HR heard some rumors about some pre war weaponry left over in this area. <clears throat> That's a bit deep to be crossing, I think. Well, probably, it's probably fine. Question is, how do I get up out of there? It doesn't look very uh, safe, this water over here. I think, I think I'm just going to take some rads while I go through it. It's, it's fine. I think I can cross over here and... Okay, I tried to jump, and it, it did not work at all, guys. It really, it really didn't. So I guess we're just walking through the crappy rad water. It is what it is. It'd take me ages to get anywhere. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Quest start. Right, order the tadpole. This is, um... Yeah, it's that quest. I don't know if I'll, do, I'll be doing that because I'm not really... Most of the benefits of that have to do with the backpack that gives you more carry weight. And um, it's a, the, the quests are a real pain in the ass to do. Um, I really was not a fan personally. Okay, I guess I can't get up over here. Maybe if I... This seems unlikely, but I'll try. Nah, it's not going to work. Okay, let, let's... Just go along the wall a bit, I guess, then, and I'll see what I can do. Might have to go a long ways over here to get up this thing, scale this thing. Hopefully I'm not, like, in the water over here. Oh, I totally am going to be. I think I just totally wasted my time crossing over here because now we're going to be stuck here. What is that? It's just some kind of flag or fabric of some sort. What is that? I don't know. Right now we're on a mission for better weaponry. Please let me get out of here. Oh god, what have I done? What have I gotten myself into? Can I get up here? Oh, thank god I can get up over here. Okay, here we go. My god! Combat shotgun. Combat shotgun. Jesus. You think you had enough life there, guys? 
Well, the meat's appreciated at least. I forgot about this stuff. I never did it, so like I, so I just didn't care. A lot of it requires you to be online and stuff too, so I don't think I'll worry about it too much. Requires you to have friends, basically. I mean, look, I have friends, okay? I, like, I could do it if I wanted to, alright? I just... I, it, this is a solo playthrough, alright? So that's why we're not gonna worry about it. And plus, it's, it's all to do with... None of the benefits are, like, for power armor. The thing I'm looking for, by the way, is one of these, but it has a... Uh, 50 mil, or, yeah, fi no, 50 caliber, sorry, not 50 mil, 50 caliber machine gun on the back of it. Okay, there's nothing, at, what the hell? Just got, like, shoved forward somehow. Nothing, nothing I need here, we're good. Yeah, here's some of the rewards you can get. These are all cosmetic, I think. This is the good stuff, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Yeah, high capacity module. Requires eight of these things, which the 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 thing these are hard to get, whatever these are. These uh possum badges, they're really hard to get. They are a pain in the ass. But they don't work in power armor, and I'm gonna be in power armor this whole playthrough, so I just don't care too much. I'm gonna mostly ignore it. Am I going the right way? I hope I am. Okay, so this is the uh, toxic waste area of Appalachia. There's Wavy Willers out in the. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening with the graphics? Okay, so this, this is not where I thought it was. It must be over here. It must be up here. Because, um, it was actually along the road, I think, to up there. If I remember... What? Sir? Sir, you're in your underpants. You're chopping wood in your underpants. I have to investigate this. Is this a game bug, or is this, uh, just a Fallout thing? Just a random naked man... Chopping wood. <laughs> Get it. Will he have clothes when I get closer? Where the hell? Oh, there he is. Oh, okay, no, it, it was a bug. Wait, no. You were a, a dude, I'm pretty sure. I didn't see a bra. Was it somebody else that I saw? Did you both change genders and your clothes while I was walking up here? This is Grafton Steel. I'm not going to bother with this too much. It's a bunch of super mutants, and uh, it produces... As the name would expect. You didn't die from that? Okay. That was right to the heart, man. I guess you probably have a couple hearts at this point, huh? There we go. 800 damage on a headshot. Okay, well, yeah, anyways, it's... It, this is... Okay, this is, again, this is something I found in, like, my first day playing. Um, I played a lot my first day, by the way. I think I streamed it, too. It's probably... The stream is probably on my YouTube channel somewhere, complete with people bitching nonstop about the game. Which is what caused me to stop streaming it, because, uh... It's upsetting to constantly have the game you're playing and enjoying be bullied by people. It's old, you know? So I said, you know what? You guys are just gonna bully me the whole time. I'm just gonna not stream it. I'll just play to my own. Are you friendly, dog? No, you're a blood eagle cutthroat. Now you're a blood eagle no throat. Shotgun. That poor dog. My god. Because of my poor aim, I shot off his feet. Okay, Camp Lewis, yeah. This is the Boy Scout area. Are there more? 
laser rifle. Just the one blood eagle, huh? I never did go and save uh, Beckett yet. I found that uh, quest line to be kind of boring, to be honest. Maybe you guys will enjoy it. Maybe I'll do it, but... I don't know. I kind of like doing my own thing in games and just, like, power leveling. I'm weird like that. I don't, I don't like following a set path. I like to find the most efficient ways to do things and then do it. Aha! It's there. Some luck at last, folks. Some luck at last. I knew I remembered this. I guess it wasn't a, um, a jeep. It was a truck. But yes. Yes, there it is. Oh, yes. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes. The 50 cal machine gun. My old faithful weapon. I have used this thing so much. Okay, it's a nice one, too. It's in good condition. Well, it's not repaired, but it's in good condition. We can just barely use it. It's level 25. I leveled up again, too. Can I start doing heavy weapons? I think it's level 30. We get perks for heavy weapons, or so not yet. Okay. Um, what about here? Awareness is not really something I need. This whole interface is just kind of annoying, to be honest. Sneak attacks deal 2.15 times damage. I think we just max out sneak, guys. Is that the move here? Even though we're in power armor and using a heavy machine gun? I think we just max out sneak. Unless there's something in here I can get that's related to my main build. No, there's not. Okay, yeah, we just get sneak then. I'll scrap it later on, but it's fine. Need one more point in agility as well. Okay, we have no ammo for this, so I have to go and craft some ammo. But that's fine. Probably have to, um... You know, it's tempting to move my camp. I could put down my camp number two over here. Um, I don't really necessarily want to do any quests here. I just want to kill some stuff and uh, be on my way. Really care about doing this event either. It's been so long since I've had a customer. I go through paper targets so quickly. The weather destroys them in just a couple of days. It certainly isn't all the customers shooting at them. Could you be a dear and go get me some fresh targets? I I know it's pointless, but my programming demands it. We used to rent guns and ammo. But now, customers have to bring their own. You want me to... What, kill these things? I guess. I don't even know what you want, man. Is there, is there a target... I guess I could... There's no... There's no marker for this anywhere. I don't know what's here. I'm not sure if he wants me to pick up some... Like, I don't even know what he wants. But there's some rad butchers over here, which means some meat, and I need food badly, so... Okay. Collect the paper targets first. Okay, that's all well and good, but I don't know where they are. Whatever, man. You're on your own, robot. Thought that was a scorch just hadn't activated yet. Maybe I should, uh, hold on. 
Maybe I should, um... Yeah, put this thing on. Maybe if I unlock this, I'll get some 50 cal ammo. Nope. okay. Like I said, we can craft some. We have plenty of lead scrap and stuff. I just wish we had the super duper perk. I won't be crafting, like, everything right away. Because I want to get the super duper perk and the uh, ammo crafting perk. Those will be, like, number one priority whenever we get to that point. So, um, there are lots of Scorch. Yeah, Clarksburg. There are lots of Scorched around here, I think. If I recall correctly. But there should maybe be a set of power armor in here. We're going to check to see if it's here or not. Um, this place has been pretty trashed by the... I guess eruptions and stuff. I think it's over here. It's, in, it's one of the more intact buildings. No idea what that was, but all right. Must be one up on top. All clear. Say submachine gun? Just a regular submachine gun, not a 10 mil? It is. Holy cow, it is. It's like exactly the same as mine though, just less damage. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it has a higher, higher, uh, clip capacity, or magazine, sorry, magazine capacity. But, that's about it. Okay, so maybe not exactly right here, but it's around here somewhere. I think it's actually over there. If I do recall correctly... It's weird how I remember my first day of playing this game so damn well. I had some epic PvP battles here too, like when we were first, you know, playing and first trying out PvP. Okay, no power armor here. We're just not having good luck with power armor, guys. Just no luck. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. I guess uh, none, none here. That's that's fine. Um, I don't know if I'll stick around and clear out this entire place. I mainly just wanted to check the power armor spawn and get that 50 cal. That's really the only thing I needed here. And uh, we can start mass producing ammo and stuff for that now. We can come back up here at any time. This whole area is kind of a side quest area. See, I don't know that I'll necessarily, um, you know, stay up here uh, long term. See, I think I'm probably going to head back to camp, guys, and uh, do some ammo crafting. Yeah, I guess what we'll do. We're going to fast travel back, make some ammo, because I want to make some 50 cal. But guys, it's probably going to be it for this episode. So uh, next one, we'll get to bring out the 50 cal and proceed with the main quest finally again. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.